Boy, I can't believe this shit. What's going on, guys? It's your boy James here, Beards of Cars, back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just out of mind, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below. Now, in this video here, guys, I want to talk about beard oil going bad. And when I say bad, I don't really mean like, I don't mean like rancid bad. I just mean like going bad, like there's absolutely no smell left to it. So you really wouldn't want to use it anyways. I mean, at least I wouldn't. So... I grabbed a few beard oils here, guys, and I just wanted to kind of show you guys the best I can. So these beard oils here I've had for a little while, maybe over a year, some of them, maybe even two years. But I just want to explain to you guys that buying a bunch of beard oil, I know I might get a little bit of hate from this. If you're a company, I'm sorry, guys. This is just the way I want to explain to my crowd to watch out for stuff like this because to me it's just silly. This is something I did in the beginning. And I'm, and I'm learning from it, all right? When I first started my beard journey, I bought a whole bunch of beard oils, all right? And what I would do is I'd use a little bit of it and I would buy another one. I'd use a little bit of it and I'd buy another one. So with that being said, over you know a year's time, two years time, I had thousands of beard oils just sitting around that I absolutely couldn't use. So some of them I just give away to friends and some of them I keep trying to use, all right? So what I noticed is, is that I have a, quite a few beard oils sitting here and you know when i open them there's no smell to them left you know it's like uh you know the best way i can describe it the smell that was there the nice manly musky or whatever it is citrusy smell that you smelled before is just gone so what they smell like to me and i got a few of them here and they all kind of smell the same it just smells like um it just kind of smells like, I don't know, it's weird. It smells kind of like Play-Doh or something just sitting there. It has absolutely no smell that it used to have before. So with that being said, guys, I bought all these beard oils, and now they're just sitting here. I don't know. I got, let's just say, I'm going to round them off to $20 a piece. So I got 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 So $160 just sitting here. I didn't want to dig them all out, guys, because there's absolutely way too many of them. But I'm trying to explain to you guys that buying a bunch of beard oil and leaving them sitting on your shelf, not using them, is doing you absolutely no good, guys. Especially if you leave them sitting around for too long, right? What I have here is something that I really used to love. I just never wanted to use a bunch of it. So this is Kingsman. This is the Holy Grill. All right? Play-Doh. So that's how I would describe it. Play-Doh. Trash. All right, this is Chesapeake. Same thing. No smell, it smells kind of like Play-Doh. Trash. This is just a cheap one I bought off Amazon. This one smells even worse. This smells like a dirty laundry room. Trash. This is Bad Dog Beard Co. Now, I've had all these for a long time, guys. This is not bashing any company, guys. I've had them for a long time. I'm just explaining that they do go bad, the smell you can't smell anymore. It's not rancid, it just doesn't, you're not gonna put it in your beard, all right? So I'm not bashing any of these companies. Anyways, trash, gray before shave. It's barely got anything, it's still got that Play-Doh smell. Trash, beard octane. Barely got anything, it's got more of that Play-Doh weird smell to it. Trash, Honest Amish. This thing smells like some type of Play-Doh, an old tea bag. Trash. Command and Conquer. This one's still got a little bit of smell to it, but it still has that weird Play-Doh smell to it. And after you put it in your beard, it almost makes your beard smell like mildewy or something like that. And that's what these do, right? So, trash. Now, I want to tell you about one that hasn't gone bad, and this is one of the first beard oils that I got, all right? And like I said, this is not to downgrade any company or upgrade another. This just happened to be one that stayed uh, strong throughout the whole time, all right? So this is Artist Man. This was some of the first beard oils that I got, guys. You can see this is tiny. This is a sample. So... This was years ago when I got this. I mean, years ago. I don't know, man. It had to be at least two, maybe going on three, something like that. But I can still smell it through the bottle. This is Midnight Ride. So this is probably one of the only beard oils that I have left. 
I'd have to check a few more, but this is probably one of the only beer rolls I have left that actually still has a smell after that long. With that being said, guys, basically what I'm trying to say is if you're if you're anything like I was, I kind of get at that in that obsession. Uh, it's a bad habit to, for me is, you know, once I start doing something, I really get involved in it. So I'll buy something. If I like it, I'll just buy it and buy it and buy it. And I'll keep doing that. And I'll start obsessing over it. So before I knew it, I had so many beer rolls laying around and uh, I just couldn't use them all. You know, I was going from this one to that one. And you know, I guess the only way to really prevent this would be to buy, if you were buying beer rolls like that, would be to use up that whole bottle and then get rid of it. And uh, I know a lot of us don't do that. We buy a bottle and then we get interested in something else and we buy that bottle. And before you know it, there's just bottles laying around on the shelf and we're not really using them anymore because maybe the next bottle, the scent profile smells a lot better than a previous one you bought. So then you kind of push that other one to the side and it don't get used, or at least that's what it did for me. Um, not to say any of these were bad. Like I said, guys, I'm not dogging on any company or anything like that. I'm just kind of giving you guys my opinion on, you know, buying so many beer dolls, you know, because this was a mistake I made. And that's just some of what I showed you there. I don't know. Like I said, probably $160, maybe a little more. But if I was to dig through all my beer dolls, guys, I'd probably have about $1,500 worth of bad beer dolls sitting around, maybe a little more, give or take. But to me, that's just unacceptable and that's why i stopped getting a lot of products all right so with that being said i hope that helps somebody out like i said guys i'm not dogging anybody's company in this guys i love every one of these guys i was talking about that i was throwing away i was just you know showing you guys my personal experience with this and with that being said guys love y'all see y'all in the next one